Hi, today we're going to be working on a Lenovo. This is an Idea Pad 3. Okay, powering on the machine. We do have a power light. We have a splash screen. And the Windows loads. What's the complaint? Every one or two days or so, every time the machine starts up, Windows doesn't load. You get a black screen looking for the boot drive can't be found. When you go into the BIOS, the SSD is not available and is missing. So what would you think the problem was? Faulty SSD? In fact, here we go. Here is the screen that comes up, boot menu, Windows Boot Manager. If we go to the app menu, which takes us into the BIOS, if we come down to hard disk, not installed. And if we go over to the boot, so boot priority order is Windows Boot Manager obviously, but the hard disk is not installed. So the laptop is not seeing the SSD. So what would you think the issue is with this? Obviously, a faulty SSD, right? Well, here is the SSD from the machine. I installed a another SSD, a known good SSD. I did manage to install Windows and everything on it, and the machine worked for two days, no problems. So what I did was give the laptop back to the customer just with Windows and told them just to use it for a couple of days, just using basic things like YouTube and things like that. And if we didn't have any problems, I was going to install a new SSD, transfer the data from here to the new SSD. Customer took it back. Next day called me, same issue. So the laptop is back on the bench. Let's see if we can find out what's going on. I've never come across this issue before. And if I don't manage to fix it, if anybody in the comments can give me a clue as what I can check next, I will really appreciate that. So let's just get the back cover off. Okay, so here's your SSD. It has an onboard 4 GB RAM and an extra 8 GB stick of memory there. Very simple laptop, doesn't have a graphics card, just the, the processor. Here's the replacement SSD that I put in, it's just a 128 Samsung. Let's just unscrew the battery because we're going to be probably connecting it and disconnecting it a few times. I don't want to plug in the SSD while the battery is connected. Because if the computer is in sleep or hibernation mode, there will be some power going to the disk. Everything looks normal as far as the contacts. We might need to get this under the microscope. In the actual socket itself, everything looks clean. Let's give it a bit of a blow out. Everything looks normal in the socket. It's 
So what would be the next step? Finding the pinouts for the SSD and making sure we've got required voltages. Is it a failing power supply? That works and then doesn't work sometimes and works sometimes. I've never seen that. Okay, let's see, does this laptop power on without the battery? Pressing the power button. It does. There you go. So now Windows has loaded. And the problem is you can use this laptop like this for a couple of days. No issues. And then all of a sudden out of the blue you'll come to switch it on and you'll get that boot manager screen. Once the laptop started up it stays running. It doesn't blue screen. It works. It's only when you power it down or it goes into standby. So let's just press the power button once. That should put it into standby. Okay, it's in standby. Powering the laptop back on. No issues. Okay, so we'll have to wait for this boot manager problem to come up again. And then while it's in that state, check the pinouts for the for the SSD. I can't I can't think of anything else. In fact, I'm gonna post this video exactly like this. If anybody has any ideas, send me an email. Or let me know in the comments. Help me out. Thanks for watching. Remember there's always a fix, or maybe there isn't.